Hey, good morning, movers. It's Tracy of Move Daily Fitness. Welcome back here. If you're new, welcome to you. Today's workout is going to be a power hour. So this is a grueling workout. Its format is one minute lower body, a minute upper body, a minute cardio, a minute of abs. We repeat that for three rounds and then we do four different circuits. So you require a variety of dumbbells in the workout. I'm gonna use a bench or a box for step ups. If you don't have that, I'll show you a modification, so not to worry. I'm not gonna lead you on a warm up because it's already quite a long workout, but if you wanna follow along one, you can click the card at the top of the screen and join me there. Also an invitation to all of you to join my Holiday Hustle Challenge. It's over on Facebook. It's a free challenge for the month of December from the 1st to the 24th, something to do daily to motivate you to stay healthy throughout this holiday season. So be sure to check that out in the links below. All right, are you ready to move daily? Let's do it. Starting round one, you're gonna start with a deadlift alternating front lunge. Okay, that's our lower body exercise. I'm gonna start with my 15s. I might go up after that, but you're starting with your deadlift front lunge. Here we go. So you're low and drop it. Good, alternating legs here. Push straight up through that heel. Your back is super flat, nice and tall here. Since you are at each exercise for a minute, we don't want you to rush anything, okay? Try lifting heavy. You do get 15 seconds in between for a little recovery to switch into the next exercise. This compound action is already getting my heart rate up. Little sit through push up is next. Good, okay, I'm gonna grab my handles here. Um, so, little sit through into a push up. You're basically in bear, you're gonna sit through, sit through, and then push up, okay? Here we go. Push-up can be done from your knees to modify. That sit through has got a lot of quad activation too, doesn't it? And abs. gonna make our legs burn. Get low, here we go. This one everything jiggles. You can travel just to make it interesting. Okay? Front and back. Halfway. Woo -hoo -hoo. Holy glutes, eh? It's good activation. Go, go. Holy calves! Okay, you're going down for a bear crawl. Opposite hand, opposite foot. 
very slow and controlled with this. Halfway, we're gonna switch to a lateral crow, okay? Here we go. You're on all fours. Hovering an inch over the ground, that is it. and then I stretch it out for my push-up, okay? Here we go. So, sit through, sit through, push up here. Burner. Okay, bear crawl. 
front and lateral. Down on all fours, small steps. Left hand, right leg comes up at the exact same time. So you're on exactly two appendages at once. When you're down low, push straight up from your heel of that front foot. Push hard. Crawl. 
we go, get down and work. Always just do a squat if you don't have a bench, okay? Here we go. And up. Now, of course, I could make this a little taller if I wanted to. Trim it right to my 18 inch. But as some of you know, my hip is not great right now, so I'm gonna keep it a little shallower. You can always go heavier in the weight. Okay, stay super tall though. And to make it more difficult, you could tap instead of resting. So you keep tension on your glutes and quad the whole time. Good. All right, go ahead and switch legs and work. Up. I've got a quick transition here. Down onto my back for a tricep chest press to shallow overhead extension. So get ready to grab your weights. Okay, get the box out of the way. On my back, I've got my 215s. A tricep press. So it's up, down, back shallow, and, re and return. Here we go. So you press up, come down to the ground, shallow overhead, and back. Up, down, overhead, and back. Again, I'm not doing the extension from a locked arm position. My whole shoulder is rotating back, bringing my elbows towards the ceiling. I love this one, but I have to make it heavy enough to feel my triceps. So I've got my 15s here for this. Feels good. Good job, five seconds. Okay, let's take it up for some cardio. You're gonna go into two jacks and a low squat jack. Okay, so you, jack, Jack, low squat. Ready? Here we go. Up, up, low, hands overhead. Really want you to drop those glutes there. Arms up by your ears, 
Grab a palm like this, cross your legs like this. Everything is gonna come up, everything is gonna go down. Here we go, so bring it up and crunch. Now the name of the game is to keep your arms by your ears. Okay, and crunch. If this is bothering your neck, hands are behind the head here, supporting instead, okay? Last here. Okay, on your back for the tricep. In three, two, push up, back, shallow, and down. You can cross your leg here if you're feeling like your back's arching too much. in the arms too, isn't it? Definitely have to stretch the calves out after this.
you down. Hands by your arms by your ears. Cross the legs. And up. I'm really feeling that in my neck. I'm just going to put my hands behind my head. But I want to focus now, getting my hips up off the ground as well. Pop and open. like that but for a full minute I can feel my neck I'm not gonna compromise my neck just to get the exercise in I don't roll like that sister so you need to modify you do that too last one on this side switch legs and hands and start think about your glute here push
Eagle crunch and work. Last 20 seconds here, then a little break before circuit three. Don't hold your breath on the abs, okay? Breathe through it. <laughs> nice. Okay, quick water break. Join me for circuit three. Let's take it down to the ground for some glute activation. I'm gonna hold a 20 pound Dumb pound, dumbbell on my pelvis. Feet together, knees are out. Sorry, knees are together. I'm gonna come up, go out, come back in, okay? So, feet together, up, abduct, down, up, down. Look at my pace. This is not a heavy weight, okay? So, I need to go for volume here. I need to burn out those glutes. Doing the abduction at the top is gonna help. So, abduct I will. <laughs> Oh, I was reading some Instagram um, replies because I just posted a comment <laughs> this morning that the same person has read the same comment. They're basically saying, you talk too much, please, no voicey. <laughs> it was half in French, and then one time they wrote, parlay, troop, 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 which I looked up and it went, too much, too much, too much. <laughs> uh, I know, it's okay. Most people don't mind it. Well, everyone that responded on Instagram doesn't mind it, so I'm doing it for you girls. Oh gosh, something needs to get me mind off this pain. Okay, let's go to upper body. You're moving into a wide row hammer curl combo. One dumbbell, I've got my 15. I'm gonna go one knee on the bench. I take it wide to the side, hammer curl here. Okay, so take it up, down, hammer. On the hammer curl, the dumbbell should sweep by your cheek. I do not want your elbow jutting back. Okay, I've done this one before in a few videos, but it's been a while. It might be a learning curve for you. You can always just hit a one arm row if this is too confusing, okay? Last one on this side. Quickly switch and work. Take it wide, down. Sweep the face. You'll notice that my elbow is not going back at all. Okay, your cardio is Two jacks, jack, jack, tuck, okay? You can jack, jack, squat if you don't want to do the tuck. I'm gonna attempt the tuck, ready? Jack, jack. Get up. So, lie your back. Knee is bent. 
arm is up, you're gonna come up. You're gonna stack it, lift the leg, back down, I'll call half. So sit up, stack the legs, up, down. I want you to modify here. You're just gonna sit up and down. Don't do the side stack. <laughs> you might fall over. Slow control. Switch sides. Scorpion get up. See how it is. 
right knee up, right arm up. Okay, get ready, or modify. Up, stack, slow lift, and down. Control. One more on this side. Switch, arms, legs, work. Definitely feel more stable on this side. With my right hand down. Finding it really fatiguing. You want to be able to complete the rep range in the one minute, but if you could have gone for another minute, the weight was too light. Okay, whoo. This is not my favorite. Positive thinking, Tracy. This is my favorite. Can't wait to do this one. I'm so excited. <laughs> Here we go. Hard. 
Scorpion. <sighs> Up, stack, lift, bend knee. here. You're going to come down for one, two, three pulses and drive. All right, here we go. And reach those hips back. One, two, three, and up. Now, if your arm gets sore holding it up in this position, feel free to do a suitcase squat. One, two, three, and drive, okay? Either is fine. Reach those hips way back. If you need to put a chair or bench behind you to help you reach your hips back, feel free to do that too. Got a little shoulder action coming up next. I'm gonna grab my lighter weights because the volume will be high. Okay, so I'm gonna sit, grab my thighs. You're gonna do a front leaning press to an upright sit seated Arnold. Okay, so forward lean, press, sit up tall Arnold press. Here and squeeze. Good. If you grab eights or heavier, this is going to be hard for you. Five is work already. Don't drop those elbows. Like that, drop your elbows like that. <laughs> oh, I needed a break, it's hard. Oh, that's work, isn't it? Last one here. Okay, let's move that out of the way. You're gonna do some in and out squat jumps with a quarter turn. So, you're gonna go in, out, in, quarter turn, okay? And then we'll move back and forth. Here we go. Out, in, quarter turn, in, out, quarter turn. Oh wow, that 
is hard. Okay, we're going into a three point plank. So plank position, knee goes out to the side, straight in, diagonal, and then switch. Here we go. So out, in, cross, switch legs. Out, in, cross. Feeling it. Feet shoulder width apart. Three pulses. And press. <clears throat> Stay super tall in your back. Oh, 
Okay, plank. Three knees, holy quads. That's hard. Get down, wide, straight in diagonal. Here we go. of work. here. It's easy to lose form and get fatigued. Push hard. workout. Everything feels worked on me. I hope you feel the same way. Oh, that is really burning. 10 seconds. I'm going to finish strong here. Come on. Last press. Okay. Hit these in the squat. This one's the hardest for me in this circuit here. So much burn in the leg. Stay low in that squat position. Oh. 
sustain. Last exercise coming up. Plank, three point plank. Let's finish strong here, everyone. Woo, here we go. And wide, in, cross. for a stretch if you can. Don't forget to join our holiday hustle challenge. Links are in the description below. Let's take it down for a stretch. Nicely done, everyone. Can we go right into pigeon here? Wow. I haven't done a power hour in a while. Well, I think September maybe or October was the last one I put out. It's been a bit. I always have to kind of psych myself up for that amount of time like one minute of those front presses. Holy, my shoulders are just dying after that. That's a lot, isn't it? It's, uh, it's mental fortitude that's required to move through something that's difficult like that. Switch sides. If you listen to any of Da Rulk, he was um, Chris Hemsworth, Thor, my hall pass, a boyfriend. <laughs> uh, he was his trainer. Um, he talks about actually going through difficult workouts uh, not only to physically strengthen your body, but to mentally strengthen your brain. And it's true, when you can stay in the pocket and you can push through things that are difficult in a workout, it gives you this increased sense of self-efficacy, right? Let's go into butterfly here. That's the sense of self where you're like, you know what? I'm gonna push through something. Once I achieve it, it increases my belief that I can do that again. And so, what happens then is that you devote more time to the task when you believe that you can do it. And when you devote more time to the task, you see better results and you gain strength and confidence. And it perpetuates itself in this wonderful little circle. Um, and experts say that self-efficacy is the greatest predictor to exercise adherence. Let's go on to a quad stretch. So, do you want to stick with exercise for your life? Make sure that you have increased self-belief. Don't, don't just say, oh, I'm going to exercise, I'm going to do that for sure. You actually have to work on self-belief, belief in yourself. Because as that perpetuates, as that grows, you're going to believe that change is possible, right? You're going to believe that you will get stronger. You're going to believe that you will lose weight or you'll lose body fat or you'll increase in your speed if belief in yourself is, is there. So... And that takes the deep dive, right? That takes working on self-awareness, compassion and kindness towards self. All of those things need to be in play too, which is why I'm all about go work on your fitness, wellness and nutrition. The wellness part is this, what I'm talking about. It's that growth of your personal self, um, your self-worth, your image of yourself, of your body. All of those things need to increase in health. And there's so many ways that you can do that. Um, we talk about it lots in our membership, so that's always a way to grow yourself in this arena is to join that. Um, but there's books, you know, like I've got my whole reading list in the drop down menu below, so you can take a look at that. Books that I've used personally to grow in my wellness over the years. Um, yeah, I've just increased my knowledge, my self-awareness, my emotional intelligence tenfold so that now when I go to do a workout, um, I believe that I, I can change. I believe that I can get stronger. I can, I can achieve optimal health and I believe that I'm worth it. So that all ties in together with that as well. And that's, that's a journey. That's a whole journey of just growing and changing as a woman and or as a man. 
Um, and it's not overnight, it doesn't happen just with reading one book. You're going to constantly be devoting time, stretch back like this, to increasing your wellness. Um, for me, that's what it's all about. You can't compartmentalize just fitness and nutrition and think that you're going to have your healthiest life by just focusing on those two things. It's got to be the wellness, it's got to be sleep, it's got to be relationships, it's got to be connections, it's got to be mindset. All of those things play together. And you know what, this month, we're going to be talking about that in my uh, Holiday Hustle Challenge. So if you're not a part of that already, make sure that you join by clicking the link in the drop down menu below. Uh, all, I know if you're watching this later in the year, it's not relevant, but right now, December 1st to the 24th, I'm going to be helping you stay on track with all of those things. So hopefully you'll join us over there. All right. Thanks for joining today. As always, we'll move daily in your fitness, wellness, and nutrition. I'll see you in the next video. And if you want something for tomorrow, I recommend this little cardio hit right there. Uh, and if you're interested in joining our membership, click or tap the screen right there. See ya.